My name is Jack, and this is my story with Gallery. I live in Indiana with my wife of 36 years, Angie. We have three grown children. We live on water, so we, we do boat a fair amount. Uh, I'm an avid golfer. Off season, we enjoy snow skiing as well as hiking, so we're a fairly active family. We met with our doctor, and he described a proactive approach to healthcare. It's like, well, shoot, why wouldn't we do this? There are so many technological advances going on in healthcare today, which is so exciting. And so when I found out that there was a test available, that a single blood test that screens for many of the deadliest cancers, I wanted to know about it and learn about it. We were so excited when Jesse recommended this test. I have a little bit of a family history with cancer, so of course, you know, we were on board. The question I asked is, well, what does it look like? And what was described is, hey, when we do your lab work on a blood draw, we send it into Grail and they do an analysis. You know, there was no, there was no pain, there was no real time commitment. So it was really just something that was very easy. Approximately two weeks after I took the test, I got a call from my doctor. So I called Jack to tell him that there was a cancer signal detected with a predicted origin of head and neck cancer. When we got that call, we were in shock. We couldn't believe it. He leads a very healthy lifestyle. He eats well, he exercises. I had, you know, CT scan. I had my throat scoped and, and evaluated. Nothing seemed to show up. We reached a point that we didn't know what it was, if it was anything, but we, we could not find it. So I had a second gallery test six months after the first one, and the results came back the same. So, you know, we had missed something somehow. And uh, so the search begins again. And this time around, uh, we did a PET scan uh, and it showed up a very faint signal in his neck, but we still had to go find it. So in this case, we ended up randomly biopsying several areas of his head and neck, including his tonsillar area, his vocal cords and so on. And we came out with a positive from his tonsil. He ended up having radiation and chemotherapy. He's now been in remission since. You know, it was, it was a process, it was a journey, but he handled it well. And the fact that gallery is even available and that we could detect it early, I would highly recommend this test. Gallery will definitely remain, you know, in my proactive health care uh, going forward. Based on a clinical study of people ages 50 to 79, around 1% are expected to receive a cancer signal detected result, which includes predicted cancer signal origin. After diagnostic evaluation, around 40% of these people are expected to have a confirmed cancer diagnosis. The gallery test is prescription only. The gallery test is recommended for use in adults with an elevated risk for cancer, such as those age 50 or older. It is not recommended in individuals who are pregnant, 21 years old or younger, or undergoing active cancer treatment. Gallery does not detect a signal for all cancers and should be used in addition to routine cancer screening. False positive and false negative results do occur.